So uh, we look at our business and sort of break it up into pillars. So anyone coming into a franchise business will have an area of expertise. You may be good with people, you may be good with numbers, you may be good with marketing, uh, but generally speaking, you're not good in all those areas. So if we look at the different pillars of the business, we start with people. So you can't get anything right unless you empower people. So you've got to build a team that's going to deliver a result for you. So our philosophy is very much around we hire values and we teach skills. And if you're not a people's person, we need to identify that up front. We can teach you that skill or we can hire someone who has that skill for you. So that's really important for us. Um, secondly, sales and marketing. It's a core competence. Uh, you can't get out in the community and meet their needs if you don't understand who they are and what their needs are. So within that pillar of our business, we have expertise. We have um, seasoned professionals who've done this their whole lifetime and they can pop into your business at a local level, at a regional level, at a national level and tell you what you're up to, who your target market is, where you are, what it's all about what your USP is, how to communicate with your target market, how to speak to them, um, how to service them, uh, and that's a skill we can give you. In today's day and age, we can't do anything without technology, and I think it's gonna be a fundamental foundation of everything we do in the future. And we can't expect every one of our franchisees to be able to code. Um, so we have a whole huge technology department that codes on our behalf. So we can have a complete IT support infrastructure, but again, we can teach you the fundamentals. We'll teach you what an operating system is. We'll teach you what an ecosystem is. We'll teach you how to use the tools in front of you. Our business is managed by technology. And if you manage one of these businesses, you have to use our technology. At the end of the day, business is about money and money scorecards are balance sheets. And balance sheets are part of financial management. So um, if you can't manage your finances, you're going to fail. If you come to the business with financial management skills, that's fantastic, it'll be really, really helpful. But if you don't, we're going to have to teach them to you. So this is on the one side. Do you understand the difference between cash flow and profit? Very few people do. We have an in-house accounting uh, system and company who will do all your management accounts for you on a monthly basis. A management account is the scorecard. Think of it as a report at school. You get your scorecard that says, this is where I am. A third party does it for you, so they can't lie. They're just the scorekeepers. They say, this is where you are. When you created your business profile, you have created a budget and a business plan. That's where you're supposed to be. And invariably, there's a gap. And the job between those two things is to understand where you are and where you're supposed to be. Financial management is going to tell you where you are. And as a result of where you are, what the net result is going to be over the next three, five, six months. That brings our next pillar into play, which is operations. Operations is going to understand the gap. I'll tell you, this is where you are. This is where you're supposed to be. And this is what we need to do about it. On any given day, you've got 100 things to do and any time to do 10. Um, so which ones do you do first? So there's certain things that are more important than other things. And they may not be shop facing, they may not be people facing, they may just be ad admin orientated. The operations people are gonna sit you down and make sure you do the important things first. So they close the gap between where you're supposed to be and where you are and show you what to focus on first. But you commonly incentivize. Compliance is an integral pillar uh, we operate more and more in an overly regulated environment uh, and compliance on its own can consume you completely. We have compliance officers in our business and we build all our systems around making sure that we are consciously compliant. So the systems are about trying to force you to be compliant. So before you do something, it'll actually ask you a question to do something to make sure that you are compliant. Whether that is buying secondhand goods, whether that's entering into a loan or giving someone a refund, our system will take you through the process. It helps you being compliant.